3D Experience World 2022 was virtual again this year. And in order to simplify Model Mania, we didn't have a phase two. So contestants were asked to model a part and then run a simulation study to determine the factor of safety under a certain load. This is the 2022 Model Mania drawing. The dimensions and product manufacturing information is shown in blue and the simulation instructions are shown in red. When looking at the drawing, the first thing I notice is the cylindrical upper area and the rectangular lower area of the part. That's where I'm going to start. And then I'll add that 12 millimeter radius to connect the two shapes and slice off the 40 millimeter radius rounded off the back here. Next, I'll cut out the pocket and the hole here and then the counter bores here. And finally, I'll add all the fillets. So let's get started. Now you could create two sketches, but I like to use a single sketch whenever possible to not only get the overall size of the model that I'm creating, but it's also a great time saver later when edits need to be made. And that's a hint for when we get back together in person and you'll need to do a phase two again. So we have created both our circle and rectangle. And we will fully define the sketch by making the midpoint of that lower line aligned with the origin. Now, since we don't have a closed contour sketch, given that we have both a circle and a rectangle overlapping, we'll select which contours we want to use in our feature. And then we will reuse that same sketch and select the other contour. Again, this could have been done with two sketches. Next, we will go and apply that 12 millimeter fillet to connect these two shapes together. Now let's go and create a sketch on the front plane. And I'm going to draw a large circle since that back edge that we're cutting off is a circular edge. And we want to make sure that the center point of the circle is coincident to both edges of our part. Our sketch is fully defined and we can create our extruded cut. And we will select through all and flip the side so that we are cutting on the outside of the part. Next, we'll create the sketch for the rear pocket. So I'm going to create this sketch on the bottom face and we'll create a standard tombstone shape. And as you can see, I have converted that line into an arc by simply going back onto the point and it creates an arc that's tangent. We will lock down our line there so that it is at the midpoint and we will add in the dimensions per the drawing. Now, because this is a tombstone and that's an arc, not a circle, we get a radius, but of course we can convert that over to a diameter dimension. We'll rotate the model around and create our cut. Now, again, I don't wanna cut the entire sketch. I just wanna choose the contour I want and I can offset this by six millimeters, which is the height that that cut is at. And then I will simply reverse the offset to make sure I'm cutting in the right direction. I will reuse that sketch again and go create another cut. And I'll use that center hole there and we'll do a through all and there we go. Next, we will create that hole on the other side, which was 18 millimeters uh, diameter and 10 millimeters deep. So we will add those dimensions there. And we'll do an extruded cut, 10 millimeters. And now we will go and apply our hole wizard to the back. 
This is going to be a counter bore. Metric, it'll be a socket head cap screw, M6, and we can show the sizing there. And that's correct per the drawing. Next, we will position this and we'll select the plane to put it on since there's no flat face to put it on. We will orient it so that it is at the center of our circle. And next, we can go and edit that sketch inside of the hole wizard. So rather than having that six millimeter from the other end, we can just simply drag and drop and reconnect that dimension so it's on the other end, which is what we wanted, 15 millimeters. Now let's go and apply our fillets. It's always good to apply the fillets last. And notice that I selected Fillet Expert. Without Fillet Expert, you might need to create two fillets here in order to get the order correct. But by using Fillet Expert, SolidWorks does all that calculation for us and we get the result we're looking for. Now I'm going to go and change the color of this fillet, which is not required, but I like to do it just to make sure I didn't miss anything. Looks good. And now we will apply the material, which is plain carbon steel. This is very important because if you don't apply the material, you won't get the right weight. So as you can see, our mass is 128.69 grams. And next we will go and run our simulation express study. So we will simply walk through and hit next and then say add a, fi a fixture and we will fix those two faces, the bottom face and the cylindrical face. And then we will add a force to that cylindrical face and we want it to be going downward. So we will choose selected direction, choose the plane, and then put in the value, 5,000 newtons downward. We already have the material applied, so we can simply go ahead and run that. We can see that the animation is showing us what we expected. And here's our final number, the factor of safety based on the design that we did and the material that we chose and the load that we applied is 2.5. So that's Model Mania 2022, at least one way to do it. And I'd like to encourage and invite you to come and try next year's Model Mania at 3D Experience World 2023 in Nashville. And Model Mania will open on Sunday, February the 12th and we'll close Tuesday the 14th with winners announced on February the 15th. Hope to see you then.